The action genre certainly has awakened from a deep sleep of intolerable messes, cause back then you had characters like John McClane, Ramble, the motherfucking Terminator. Action sequences used to look less like a child smashing action figures together and more of a gritty and natural feel, which strived away from the overabundance of cuts and glorification of CGI. But the past certainly has faded with many of the old action stars fading away from the scene and the overuse of CGI mixed with bullshit stories and characters you pretty much don't give a fuck about. Many studios are failing to bring back that magic of action films back on that very pedestal, until very recently where many stuntmen have decided to grab hold of that director's camera and make their own action films for the general audience. And bringing back the fun aspect of action films back into the fray, it started with Mission Impossible, <laughs> to Extraction, then to Bullet Train, and now the more recent John Wick 4, <laughs> which in my honest opinion is the best action film of all time, simply because it had a captivating story and it was very versatile. Now Netflix has released Extraction 2 which stars Chris Hemsworth as Tyler Rake, directed by stunt coordinator Sam Hargrave. Extraction was a simple premise, a guy gets recruited to extract someone and he becomes a one man army killing a bunch of corrupt police officers, drug traffickers who are after him. Through this very brutal killing spree of his, he bonds with the kid as he reminds him of his own son, but in a grueling shootout at the evac, he takes a bullet in the neck and goes overboard, leaving the ending to be open. Is he alive? Or is he dead? He, he, he's alive. Extraction 2 kicks right off after Extraction. When Rake is washed up into shore, is still alive because he's just that guy. He lives in a cabin healing and getting back into shape until Idris Elba, who was an unexpected surprise, recruits Tyler Rake on an extraction mission. This time it's his wife's sister who is stuck in a Georgian prison with the filth of a husband who's abusive and runs a crime operation with his brother. Tyler Rake takes his team to the prison, we get this very long take of nothing but brutal killing. And fuck it, it looks good. You can see what's happening which makes it even more immersive. I'm not even sugarcoating that it's very long because it's fucking 21 minutes of nothing but Tyler Rake kicking ass and Mia, who's the one who needed to be rescued, joins in on the fun. Tyler successfully kills one of the two brothers but he's only created even bigger problems. On hearing the news, the older brother mourns his loss and goes on a revenge hunt for Tyler Rake. And at the good old country of Syria, where Tyler Rake is hiding out with the family, the Nagazi do a full scale attack on the building, but after a kick ass beatdown from Tyler Rake and his team using a treadmill, Tyler Rake was able to get the family to safety, but Yaz was shot in the back and sadly died to his injuries. To make amends with his wife and bring the family to safety, Tyler has bone to pick with Zurub, and he becomes a one man army once again. Tyler goes one on one with Zurub in a very very brutal fight, and well, Tyler breaks Zurub and shoots him in the head, and well, another extraction successfully done. Tyler meets with Idris Elba again after being in prison as the extraction was off the books and needed to be done silently, clearly it did not. Idris has another job for Tyler and his team and well, we're getting a trilogy. After Extraction and Extraction 2, we need more. We need more films like this. Not so the ones that overdo themselves and try to mash a bunch of shit with disappointing action. Films like Sisu, John Wick, Extraction are bringing back the one man army brutal fights and fuck man, Chris Hemsworth needs to be in more of these roles instead of the laughable treatment he's been getting for his character Thor recently. He can certainly lead a generation of action stars and bring this generation back in the light. Extraction 2 takes it up a notch with the action, a new scenery for Tyler to kick some ass. Now watching some of the behind the scenes, the 20 minute one shot fight sequence wasn't entirely done in one shot. The edit team does a great job to allow several shots to flow like it's a sequence hiding the cuts in between. And fuck, it looks damn good. If you're going to Extraction 2 expecting a complex story similar to Nolan's films, you will be disappointed. If you're expecting compelling, memorable characters, you will be disappointed. And the film is aware of this, and focuses to tell the story through its intense action and improving on the one on one fights and gunfights from the last one. Fuck yeah, this was simply a quick review, and Extraction 2 is currently on Netflix. Highly recommend checking it out. So yeah, goodbye.